Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Park Studio. In this case, I'm going to show you how you can create some realistic render in Enscape for SketchUp. So before we start this video, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel and let's get to work. So I have some 3D model in the uh, SketchUp environment. As you can see, some type of woody cabin or house or everything you want to name it something like that and this is the uh, environment that we have in here so I will click on the uh, Enscape in here and you can see the final result in the Enscape so I'm on the fly mode and I can move in my environment very simple and easy all the trees have some type of fine details for this job and it's really important first of all for creating some realistic render I'm going to create the uh, safe frame and after that, I want to change the resolution of my job. So for this job, I'm going to click on the uh, visual setting in this place and decrease the rendering quality to the medium mode because I need some smooth moving. And I will click on the output, change my file format from the uh, PNG to the uh, JPG and resolution is something about custom mode. So. For this type of job, I want to use some type of portrait resolution. So I will increase this number to the 2400 and I want these aspect ratios 0.8. So I will close it right now and this is the uh, fine resolution that I want. So I can pick my camera shot like that, very simple and easy. Something like this, for example, and I want to press F on my keyboard, click on the create view and start to add in my camera setting. First of all, I want to unlink my job from any type of visual setting and I want to add it to my favorite scenes. So I will change the cat name to the uh, render TX for example. My X coordinate is about 42.36 and my eye height is about 1.6 and I think everything is done right now I can adjust these numbers manually and the pitch is about 0 and the yaw is about 58 degree and sun position in Enscape is really important so for this job first of all I want to check out my field of view so I will click on the visual setting and move it in here so I can reduce the field of view and this is the exactly what I want from this render. Some type of camera shot like this and add 46 degree on my camera shot. So everything is done for me right now and I want to close it in here. So azimuth and altitude is really important. So I hold shift and right click and move my time of the day near to the morning. For example, for example, something like 7 30 a.m can be really good so altitude is about 22.6 and azimuth so for the azimuth i can move it manually to reach to the best result for example something like that can be good but i need some type of light from the left side so i can move it to reach to the best result for example something like this for example all right i want to add the uh, 164 for the azimuth and click on the uh, create view in here so my render number one created for me so i can click on it to turn back to the main camera and some position and now time for the rendering i want to click on the visual setting and start my rendering job from this box in here so about the rendering quality, I will increase it to the high mode to see all the changes at the same time. My perspective is good, but I want to zoom a little bit on my house, something like 42 degree. And in here about the image bar, I want to use the auto contrast. So saturation is not bad, but I can turn off the auto contrast to control these shadows. So for these type of shadows, I can reduce the uh, shadow parameter in here. Something like that, for example. 
or I can convert it to the zero and use auto contrast. So saturation is a little bit high, so 106% is good. And color temperature is 7600 Kelvin. Motion blur is not useful and blue mean is zero. So lens flare is about zero again and vignette is not important, so 6% is good. And chromatic abbreviation is zero. So I will close it in here and click on the atmosphere. I don't need any type of fog for my render because I need some clear shot of this house and some brightness is something about 90% shadow sharpness can be increased to the uh, 88 and artificial light brightness about the interior lighting so I will minimize the inscape for now and click on the SketchUp so as you can see we have some type of sphere lights inside this house so I will select one of them, click on the Enscape objects and increase the luminous intensity and you can see the changes inside of the uh, house. So I want to get some value about 40,000 candela and it's good right now and I will close it. As you can see now we have better lighting in here so I can maximize the Enscape again, click on the uh, visual setting and in the uh, atmosphere, I can increase or decrease the artificial light brightness to the 76%. So now we have better details in here. Ambient brightness related to the indoor lighting. So it's about 56 and the wind is about 0. So I will click on the skybox. I don't need these type of clouds, so I will turn off the Cyrus amount. And I only need these clear clouds in here. So when I increase the density, absolutely, we will have some type of cloudy weather. But when I decrease it, I will have some type of clear GI lighting. So the density is about 44% and variety is about 56%. Count trail is not important right now. And I want some type of white ground source for my job. So in the main bar, I can increase the exposure about 58. And now we have some work with the objects. So I will minimize it in here and play with the objects to see what happened in my environment. First of all, I want to rescale this tree in here like that to see better shadows in this place. And I think I can move this tree to the right side to see these type of details in here. And I need another tree, for example, something like that, and move it near to my camera shot. Someplace like this. And you can see the final details in here. Very simple and easy. So something like that is good. And I can move it again to this place to see what happened in my environment. So it completely depends on you and your taste. But I prefer to use some type of clear lighting without any type of obstacles. So I will rescale it another time to see what happens. So I can use another tree like that. Rescale it and move it near to my house and camera shot. So I will do this job in here. As you can see now we have these three in this place so I can move it in here to test it. Like that. All right. Something like this is really good and I can move it a little bit to the downside about 0 0.16 and I can move it a little bit to the uh, right side about 0 0.22 or 54 and the result is something like that. So now time for the rendering so I will click on the uh, a screenshot button in here and save it on my desktop as the JPG. So we create these type of renders very simple and easy only in a few minutes. 
If you like this video, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel and goodbye.